Greetings everyone. Welcome to the 26th episode of Freeway to Financial Freedom. My name is Chen Yin Yu, the host of the show. For those of you who have seen the show before, you know what it's about. And for those of you who have never seen the show or are here watching the show for the first time, don't worry, I'll tell you right now. This show is going to change the way you think about finance. And by watching this show, it will help you become financially affluent in life. How is it possible? To show you how to so, sew, here's a story. Cash flow is the story of how an average person overcomes obstacles and limitations to escape the rat race and take charge of their financial future. It all began when our wide-eyed hero graduated college, got a job, accumulated debt, and found himself stuck firmly in the middle of the same rat race he swore he would avoid when he used to dream big. How would he ever find his way out? It's ready, rat! To the rescue, rescue, rescue! rescue, rescue. rescue. It's time for you to escape this rat race! Let me show you the way out! With that, our hero learned how to change his thinking about money and investing, understand risk and grow his passive income, providing him with the financial freedom to get out of the rat race that was making him live from hand to mouth with little chance that anything would change. Finally, our hero escapes the rat race and goes down a road of his very own where all of his dreams come true. The end. Freeway to Financial Freedom is sponsored by Income and Product Emporium Fly High with Financial and Technological Freedom and CYY Mall Great savings come from shoppers like you And now back to the show Okay so my occupation is doctor and my dream be a jet setter. Wow, my own private jet. Okay, so I'm going to choose this dream. And this is going to take a while since I'm actually waiting for a challenger. Ah, here it is. We have a challenger named Nick and his dream, Seven Wonders of the World. Okay, so since we're ready, let's start the game, for real. Okay, now it's my turn. And I roll three, of course that's market, so I don't have any property with me, so of course it's not gonna affect me. Now it's next turn. And let's see here, um, she, let's see, Nick, which is actually uh, Nicolette for short, landed on an OK for You stock opportunity, and she bought one share of OK for You for thirty dollars. Uh, okay, so now, um, so now it's uh, my turn, and let me just roll a die. Um, six, and of course that's paycheck, so. Of course, I got 3550 And now it's her turn and she landed on charity and let's see what's her decision. And she did not pay for, um, she did not pay for any charity. And uh, now it's my turn. Six. And that, let me see, what is this? Baby, okay, I got a child right now. Now I add $640 to my child expense. And now my cash flow is reduced to $2,910. Okay, now it's, uh, it's Nick, next turn. And let's see, she landed on opportunity. And there's the condo for sale, $5,000. Um, down payment and with a cash flow of 250 and she 
pass that opportunity. Oh, that could have been mine. I could have bought that. Now it's my turn. Mutual funds are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Okay, yeah, well, I just got a paycheck. Um, and of, of uh, 2,910, uh, let me just get rid of this one, the retail debt, temporarily. And now I have the cash flow of 2,960. Okay, now it's uh, Nicolette's turn. And there's an opportunity. And let's see, there's a NYT for you electronic. Uh, today's price is three dollars, and she passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. Two, there's market, but of course, I don't have a property, so doesn't apply to me. Plex, I don't have Plex, and neither uh, does she. And now it's uh, Nicholas' turn. And, uh, she, and then she landed an opportunity, started a company part-time, and she passed that opportunity. And that's my turn. Five. And that's opportunity, no doubt. I'll take a small deal. Okay, for you drug, one dollar per share. Market panic crashes, market, market panic costs Let's see, market panic causes crash in the stock in the shares of this longtime maker of medicine. Only you may buy as many shares as you want at this price. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, so everyone is at this price, and uh, yeah, I can buy up to 5,000 shares of that, so let me buy 5,000 for, for $5,000, and okay, this is going to be asset for number options, so it's a cost per option. Now I have the cash uh, of 4,410, okay, now it's a Nicolette's turn. And she let on do that, and she paid a hundred dollars, eighty dollars in cash. And now it's my turn. Six. All right, I can run a little faster now. And let me take a small deal again. Okay, so market strength leads to high share price. For this long time maker of medicines, only you may buy as many shares as you want at this price. Everyone may sell this price. Today's price is $40. Hey, lovely. I'm going to sell all of them. And now I sell this one. And now I have $207,370 on hand. Who lovely. Alright, now it's Nicolette's turn. And she landed on opportunity. Mutual fund, growth rust fund, ten dollars per share, and she paid four hundred seventy dollars for forty-seven shares of growth rust fund. And then now it's my turn. Real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy. Not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, well, I repaid my um, credit card and a car loan, and I rolled a six and landed on big deal opportunity. Let's see, 12 unit apartment house offered by out of state heirs of handyman owner. 
long waiting list for apartments in this building. Uses for itself are sell to the player. 50% RI may sell for 300,000 to 480,000. Uh, cost of 350,000, mortgage of 300,000, down payment of 50,000, and a cash flow of impressive 2,400. Hey, that's a good deal, I'm gonna buy that. There you go. And now this will be asked for down payment. So it's a cost, mortgage will be liability, and of course, cash flow is an income, and I have cash flow of 6,010. Lovely. Okay, so now it's next turn. And she landed an opportunity. And let's see what she has. Stock, okay for you, drug, $10 per share. And she paid $170 for 17 shares of okay for you, drug. Stock. And now it's my turn. One, a doodad. Uh oh. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Y yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I pay $100 for that do that in cash, and Nick, just to collect a paycheck of $780. Okay, now it's my turn. Four, and that's a paycheck, no doubt. Uh, let me see here. I took home $6,010. And let me see if I could repay my loans. Uh, well, I can't do that right now, so I'm gonna skip that. Now it's her turn. And she, of course, she landed on opportunity, and let's see what she has right now. Forty dollars uh, per share in NYT for your stock, and she paid one hundred sixty dollars for four shares of NYT for you stock. Hmm. Okay, so now it should be my turn, and of course it is my turn, and I can hope I can uh, roll an odd number five. Okay, that's good. And let me take a big deal again. Twenty acres of raw land, cash flow one hundred fifty, negative one hundred fifty. And of course, down here for 15,000. Oh, that's not worth it. I'm gonna just pass. Now it's her turn. And she now on paycheck and she just got took home $830. And of course, it should be my turn by now. Downsize. But. I do have the business though. The stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Well, at least I, I don't have to worry about that uh, down, being downsized just for now. So now I just have I, my cash is reduced to 131700 Okay, now it's Nick's turn. Condo buyer, 2-1. Uh, two bedroom, one bathroom. Well, I don't have that. So, let's apply to me. And now, of course, I'm downsized, so I couldn't do anything about it. Now it's Nick's, Nick's turn. And she landed an opportunity. And she let on okay for you drug stock to his price is forty dollars and she sold twelve shares of okay for you for four hundred eighty dollars and of course I'm still downsized and of course now it's next uh, next turn and she's downsized as well who okay so now it's my turn and hopefully I can get out. Being downsized. Three. Okay. So, let an opportunity and let me take a big deal. Bed and breakfast for sale. Owner retiring. Wants out now. A great clientele in resort community. Five bedroom, three bathroom. Uses for sale or sell to the player. 
40 percent of I is sell for 100 to 300 thousand. Cost of 150 thousand. Mortgage of 120 thousand. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Down payment of 3000 and cash flow of 1000 Hey, that's a great deal. I'm going to buy it. Good job. Okay, so down payment and cost will be asset. Mortgage will be a liability and a cost will be income and now I have the cash flow of 7,010. Okay, that's great. And now it's Nick's turn. And of course she's downsized. And now uh, it's, my, it's my turn. Six, all right. So uh, let's see, let me take a big deal one more time. Eight plex for sale. Um, let's see. Retiring investor owner of offer it has eight plex at a current appraisal value. Professional lawn service and management, full records, 29% RI may sell for 20, 200000 to 280000 uh, cost of 240000 mortgage of 200000 down payment of 40000 and a mortgage of 950 Hmm, yeah, I had to be careful with that because it may be a loss, so better pass that. Even with a bank loan, that investment would have provided positive cash flow. And now it's next turn, but of course she's downsized. And now it's my turn. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Yeah, there's a negative cash flow of 100, so minus 100, that's not going to be good, so I'm going to pass that. Now it's next turn. And now she landed on opportunity and let's see what's her what she's doing right now. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom, and let's see. She passed the opportunity. And now it's my turn. One market and let's see. What I have right now, condo. Well, I don't have any condo, so it doesn't apply to me. And now it's next turn. She landed an opportunity. And she found a great deal. Cost of, let's see, a three bedroom, two bathroom house. And let's see, what's her decision? She bought it. For two thousand dollars, adding cash flow of two hundred twenty. Okay, so now it's my turn. Four, and that's uh, let me see. Downs, oh baby. So now I have a, I I have baby number two, at six hundred forty dollars for my child expense. So this will be expense. Now my cash flow is reduced to six thousand three hundred seventy. And now it's her turn. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. And Nick paid for the charity and uh, let's see, now it's my turn. Four, that's market again. Shopping mall wanted. Well, I don't have any shopping mall, so it's not going to be, I think it's not going to be, well, I don't have that, so that's apply to me. Okay, now it's next turn, and let's see uh, how fast she's going right now, and she wrote a five. There's opportunity. House for sale, three bedroom, two bathroom, and with a down payment of 3000 and cash flow of 100, 
and she passed the opportunity. And now it's my turn. Four, and that's a. Uh, it's not downsize, right? Oh, downsize for a second time. But I still have plenty of uh, cash with me, plus I have the residual income. So now my cash uh, is reduced to 114260 And now it's next turn, and she landed an opportunity, and let's see here. House for sale, two, three bedroom, two bathroom, and let's see, has she passed the opportunity? Now it's my turn. Of course, but I'm still downsized. And now it's her turn. And she landed an opportunity. And let's see here. Um, mutual fund, uh, growth trust fund, thirty dollars per share. Careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct. But that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, and now it's her turn and she out on charity for a second time and let's see what's her decision. Again, she paid for the charity. And now it's my turn. Six. And that's a doodad. Go to the air show, pay $120. I'll just pay in cash. No big deal. Now it's her turn, and let's see what's her. She wrote 10. Oh! So she got the paycheck twice. And she took home 1050 uh, times 2. That's 2100. Now it's my turn. Four, and that's a paycheck. And I took home 6370 Let's see if I can repay my loan. Uh, no, that's still too... That's, that's still not enough. Okay, now it's next turn. And she let on an opportunity, and let's see what's her decision for that um, property. Uh, actually, the stock of MRT for you. $20 per share. Now it's my turn. Six, and that's a. Uh, let me see, that baby? Real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, well I got my third child, and uh, she landed an opportunity onto you, onto you stock, and she passed that. Okay, let me take a small deal. Onto entertainment, five dollars per share. Hmm. Yeah, perhaps I can afford it because I have a lot of money right now. So yeah, let me buy it. Five thousand again for twenty-five thousand, and I'll buy that. This will be an asset for number option and cost per option. Now I have the I have 107,610 uh, on hand. Okay, now it's uh, Nick Nicholas' turn. Okay, well, she landed on an opportunity to go grow for us fun, and she passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. One, market. 
Well, I don't have any Plex, so uh, that doesn't apply to me. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, well, she passed the opportunity for a two-bedroom, one-bathroom condo. Now's my turn. One. Let me take a small deal. I found a great deal. Hey! Company bought Transfer Manager Street 2 House. No current tenant has, has been in the market for six months. Just reduce. Borrow from the bank if you must, but buy this. 150% RI may sell for $65,000 to $135,000. Cost of $45,000. Mortgage of $43,000. Down payment of $2,000 and a cash flow of $250,000. Hey, I'm going to buy that. Good job. And now I have cash flow of 5980 And now it's Nicholas' turn. And then of course she let him do that. Spent 80, uh, paid $80 for do that in cash. Now it's my turn. Five. That's a paycheck, I think. Yep, it is. Took home 5980 Okay, now it's a Nicolette's turn. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, well, Nicola had just had a, uh, her first child, and of course, I uh, rode to and landed on market, but of course, I don't have any plaques, so it doesn't apply to me. Now it's Nicola's turn. And she landed on paycheck and took home a thousand dollars. And now it's uh, my turn. Yeah. And wrote two and let it undo that. Go to the casino, lost two hundred dollars at the table. Well, I'm gonna pay in cash. No big deal. Now it's Nicholas' turn. And she let on um, opportunity. Let's see a condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom. Well, let's see here. And what's her decision? She bought, she bought the two bedroom, one bathroom condo for five thousand dollars, adding a cash flow of one hundred. Okay, now it's my turn. Five. No doubt, take a small deal. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom. Hmm. Older 2 1 condo offered by a young couple who wants to move up to a 3 2 house due to a growing family available soon. Uses for sale for sale to the players, 38% RI, may sell for 45000 to 65000 Cost of 55000 and mortgage of 50000 down payment of 5000 and a cash flow of 160 should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Well then, I'm going to have to buy that. Good job. Now adding a cash flow, I got I got the six thousand one hundred and forty. Alright. Now the uh, next turn. And she landed an opportunity. I think she's thinking for a small deal, no doubt. 
House of Sale, three bedroom, two bathroom. Oh, no down payment. That could have been mine. Now it's my turn. Three. And let's do that, no doubt. My child marries, well, my first child. So, one of my children had finished school and gotten married. This child no longer costs you anything to support. You give the new couple $3,000 to help them get started and then reduce the number of children by one and reduce your child expense. Okay, I'm gonna pay it in cash. So I get rid of this expense. And now I have the cash flow of 6780 Alright, now it's next turn. Loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Okay, well, she Nick actually passed a growth first opportunity. Okay, now it's my turn. I landed an opportunity and let me take a small deal. NYT for your stock in the um, today's price is thirty dollars. Hmm, that's too high. Better pass. Now it's next turn. Oh my god, Nicola just paid $4,000 for that TV in cash. Now it's my turn, I'm like a small deal. House for sale, 3 bedroom, 2 bathroom. Nice 3-2 uh, house available for in depressed market due to layoff. Would make good investment property for the right buyer. Uses for sale for sale to the player. 60% RIM and sell for 65000 to 135000 Cost of 50000 mortgage of 36000 down payment of 4000 and cash flow of 200 Hmm, I'm gonna buy that. There you go. Now I have cash flow of 6980 And now it's next turn. And she let on charity for the third time, and let's see what's her decision. I bet she's gonna pay for that. Are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Okay, now it's my turn. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom. Yeah, this is a negative cash flow. I'm not gonna do that, so I'm gonna pass. And now it's Nicholas' turn. And she left her paycheck. She took home a thousand two hundred. And of course, uh, this is a. Uh, it is uh, my turn. Um. And then of course, let me just uh, throw a die right now. Five, and that's a market. Hmm. You are offered a hundred thousand for three two rental house. Buy his own financing. Everyone might sell at this price. If you, s yeah, a hundred thousand. Yeah, you know what? It's a good idea. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to sell that. Sell both of them. Just getting rid of that, that, and that. And now I have uh, $230,000, uh, 230130 uh, two thousand yeah, now I have uh, 230130 on hand, now it's her turn. Be 
careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Let me see here. Let me see if I can repay my loans. Hmm, yeah. You know what, let's wait. Three. And this time, a big deal. Duplex for sale. Hmm, yeah. Well, that's a little bit too high because it costs 70000 I may lose some money, so I'm going to pass. Even with a bank loan, that investment would have provided positive cash flow. Okay, and Nicolette, uh, she just got a... Uh, Think, um, let me see. Now she got a baby. Number two. And now it's my turn. One charity. And yeah, I'm gonna donate. I donate $1,676 um, to charity. Now it's her turn. This is so she um paid four thousand dollars for a condo, adding a cash flow one hundred forty. Now it's my turn. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Oh, now I got my fourth child. Oh, my goodness. This will be expense, so now I have cash flow of 5890 Now it's next turn. And she's downsized. And now it's my turn. Ten. And now I'm getting to the paycheck twice. I took home 5,890 times two. That's gonna be, uh, let me see, uh, 11,780. Uh, hmm, yeah, let me see if I could repay my loans here. Uh, I'll do that later on. Now it's next turn. And of course she's downsized. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest. But it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Four plex for sale. Um, now we have a cost of 100000 mortgage of 80000 down payment of uh, 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 20000 and cash of 800 Hmm. Yeah, I can, I can buy that. There you go. Now I have cash flow of 6,690. 6, and let's see, of course she's downsized.
Now's my turn. Three. And that's going to be a do that. Remember later, go back to school for additional skill. Pay for tuition and books a thousand. Uh, that's going to be a thousand two hundred. I'm going to pay in cash. No big deal. And now it's a uh, next turn. And she landed on opportunity. And there's MIT for you to stock. And let's see what's her decision. She paid thirteen thousand nine hundred forty uh, for six hundred ninety-seven shares of stock. Now it's my turn. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! And of course I took home 6690 because I landed on a paycheck. Okay, now it's Nicholas' turn. She landed on charity and let's see what's her decision. And she paid $224 to charity. Nice job. And now it's a nice... It's my turn. Two. Let's see, condo bar, two bedroom, one bathroom. You are offered fifty-five thousand for a two-one rental condo. Yeah, that means you're not gonna earn some money, so I'm gonna pass. Now it's next turn. And now she learned our opportunity. Hmm, let's see. Stock on to entertainment. Now today's price is twenty dollars. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's time for me to sell that. So yeah, I'll sell all of them. So now I have 330,144 on hand. All right. And now it's my turn. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, so I repaid my uh, home mortgage, so I don't have to worry about losing my own house. Yeah, just a school loan that I have to worry about. Anyway, okay, let me go to big deal. Car wash for sale. Ooh, lovely. Family car wash for sale. Family fueling. Wants out ASAP. Prime location in high growth area. Uses for sale for sale to the player. 36% ROI. May sell for 1 to 25 times the annual cash flow. Hmm. Cost of 350000 Mortgage of 300000 Dumb here of 50000 And cash flow of 1500 Hmm. Yeah, that's a really uh, good idea. So, um, let's see. Yeah, let's try that. That's the way to do it. And now I have cash flow of 10,090. All right. Now it's next turn. And she let it on opportunity. That's a 3-2 house and she bought she bought it for three thousand dollars. The cost now is my turn. Five. A do dad. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. 
Good debt makes you rich, and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt, and that's why they're poor. Okay, so now my second child married, and of course I paid um, two thousand dollars for that, for that um, to let them start, let him start a new life. Now it's my turn. Oh, and of course Nick paid two thousand dollars. Two hundred fifty dollars for do that. Okay, now it's my turn. One. Of course, I'll take a big deal. Apartment houses for sale. Hey, two buildings totaling twenty-four units for sale. Owner match with on-site assistant. Retirement prompt sales. Uses for sales or sell to the player. Fifty-four percent ROI may sell for six hundred to nine hundred sixty thousand. Cost of five hundred seventy-five thousand. Mortgage of five hundred thousand. Down payment of seventy five thousand and a cash flow of three thousand four hundred. Hey, impressive! I'm gonna buy that. There you go. And now I have cash flow of fourteen thousand one hundred thirty. All right. Now it's next turn. Can she land an opportunity? Let's see here. She found a great deal. A three three bedroom, two bathroom house. And she paid two thousand dollars for that the house and in cash flow two hundred and twenty. Now it's my turn and let's see what happened right now. Congratulations. Nicely done. Congratulations, you've reached the fast track. Uh, you've proved your financial intelligence. Your right Mutual based funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. You prove your financial intelligence. Your wrath-based investments have prospered. You reinvest your returns for outstanding investment success. You've successfully increased your passive income a hundred times. Yay! Now it's my turn on a fast track. Ten. All right. South Sea Island Fantasy. Hmm, well, I'm not interested in that, so I'm gonna have to pass. But of course, I still need fifty thousand uh, dollar per day uh, cash flow to go to reach that goal. Now it's next turn. And she let a market, but of course, let's see. A car wash, but of course I own a car wash and I'm not interested in selling that. Now it's my turn. Three. And this one is Pizza Franchise. Okay, that's great. Two locations. Cash on return of 37% and a monthly cash flow of 7000 Down payment of 225000 Hmm, I'm going to buy that. So let's take that one. Now it's next turn. And she led an opportunity and she led on one called MIT for your stock electronics. And uh, let's see. She actually decided not to buy it or sell it. Now it's my turn. Be Six. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct. But that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Yeah, buy two hundred fifty thousand dollars share at ten cents per share. That's two twenty five grand. If you roll a six, get the shares go to two thousand, go to two dollars per share, and then get get five hundred thousand cash off from bank. Otherwise, get nothing. Well then, I'm gonna have to um, let's try it. Two. Oh, so I didn't get enough uh, higher row, so I lost twenty-five grand. Now it's Nick's turn, and she took home a thousand two hundred ninety. And now it's my turn. Three. 
a research center for cancer and AIDS. Hmm, I'm not interested in that, so I'm gonna have to pass. She led an opportunity, and let's see here. Start a company part time, but I don't think she wants that. And now it's my turn. Seven. Beauty Salon. Oh, that's a big money earner. Three shops, 10,000 per month uh, cash flow with a cash on, on return of 48%. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, yeah, so 250,000, yeah, I would buy that. And now it's uh, Nicolette's turn. And of course she let a market, and of course, um, I don't think she has a plex. And now it's uh, my turn. Seven. Can Film Festival, uh, party with the stars, uh, hmm, I'm not interested in that, so I'm gonna have to pass. And now it's Nick's turn, and she went out to dinner and spent $80 on it for that. And now it's my turn. Seven. Quick Food Mart, uh, $5,000 per, uh, per month cash flow uh, with a cash on return of 50%. Three stores, down here of 120000 Hey, great deal, I'm going to buy that. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, now it's my turn. Four. Pay half of my cash on hand to the court. Oh. So now I have... 1,554,000 House by 3 bedroom, 2 bathroom I and I she asked that and she just earned about 50,000 for selling these uh, 2 houses with 3 bedroom and 2 bathroom each Now uh, it's my turn 4 I took home 940,000 now it's my turn. Oh, it's, it's her turn. Stock NYT for you electronics. And let's see what's her decision. She passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. Eight. Pizza franchise, well, the second one, and yeah, same thing, it's 7,000 monthly cash flow, and the cash flow return 37%, again, two location, so I'm gonna buy that. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? 
why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! And now it's my turn. Five. Save the ocean mammals. Hmm, I'm not interested in that, so I'm gonna pass. And now it's next turn, and she let an opportunity. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom. And she paid $5,000 for that condo, adding a cash flow of 220. Okay, now it's my turn. Eight. Kelly see the Swiss app. Mm, I'm not interested in that, so I'll pass. And now it's her turn, and she just got, uh, well, actually, child number four. Now it's my turn. Eight. And see, private fishing cabin on a cabin on a Montana lake. Now I'm gonna pass that. And now it's my her turn. And she let on a paycheck, and she just got a paycheck of one thousand two hundred forty. Now it's my turn. Three. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, of course, it's now it's my turn. Six. Quick foot mart, um, cash flow of 5000 per month, uh, cash flow return 50%, and again, three stores. So yeah, let's just buy that, buy that. And now it's her turn. And of course, she now do that and paid $180 for that concert in cash. Now it's my turn. Seven. A mini farm in the city. Again, I'm not interested in that. And she let let a paycheck. Got 1,240. Okay, now it's my turn. Four. Capitalist Peace Corp. Well, I'm not interested in that either. Now it's my turn. And of course, she let on market. The Plex bar. Well, I don't have any Plex. Actually, she doesn't have Plex, so it doesn't apply to her. Now it's my turn. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Seven wonders of the world. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pass that because it's actually next stream, I think. Now it's her turn. Small deal opportunity, MIT for you stock. $30 per share. She passed that opportunity. Two. And of course, I'm not interested in the research center for cancer and AIDS. Now it's Nikki's. Nicholas turn. 
she let her do that and of course her second child Mary so just gave her three thousand uh, dollars to a new couple twelve Private fishing cabin on Montana Lake. Well, I'm not gonna buy that, so. Not interested in that. And now it's next turn, and she took home a paycheck of 1,350. Now it's uh, my turn. 10. Mutual funds are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Now it's her turn and stock onto entertainment. Today's price is ten dollars. And she paid two thousand twenty thousand eight hundred seventy dollars for two thousand eighty seven shares of onto stock. Now it's my turn. Five, okay. Cookware infomercial. 50,000 monthly cash flow if you roll four higher. Otherwise, get nothing. Huh, interesting. I think I'm gonna have to try to close the game for real. Let's try it. One, oh, darn it. And now it's a uh, Nicolette's turn. Market inflation hits uh hmm for a 3-2 house. Well I don't have that, so I already sold it out already. Now it's my turn. Hopefully even number. Five uh, that's an odd number. Wow. Capitalist keys core, well I'm not interested in that, so I'll, I'll skip that. And now it's next Nicholas turn. And there's the stock onto your entertainment. And she sold uh, 19, 1,913 shares onto you for 57,390. Now it's my turn. 12. Careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, well, she let on market, but of course, um, she, uh, I'm not sure what happened right now, so. Okay, now it's my turn. Nine. Beauty Salon, okay, that's great. Again, three shops, uh, 10,000 monthly cash flow. Cash flow return of 40%, uh, down payment of 250,000. Hmm, yeah, good deal, I'm gonna buy that. And now I have only 6,000 to go for the cash flow day goal. Yep. And of course, uh, it's next turn, and of course, she let on do that, lost $100 for a lottery number, okay. Now it's my turn. Eight. And I took home 970,000. Now it's my turn. And she, she took home a, a, a 1,350. Now it's my turn. Six, hopefully business. Quick Food Mart. Um, Five thousand dollar monthly cash flow uh, with a fifty percent cost cash on return. Three stores. Down payment one hundred twenty thousand. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna buy that. So now I have one thousand to go. Uh, for the cash flow they go before I can actually reach gold. Real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, 
ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, well, should I buy $4,550? for 4,550 shares of MIT for you and of course I rolled an 8 and uh, uh, pay, got a paycheck and now already reached $10,442,000 and uh, she, later she uh, passed the opportunity for the 3 bedroom 2 bathroom house and now it's my turn hopefully I can get a business 6 okay hopefully it's a business 200 unit, unit mini storage uh, $6,000 a monthly cash flow of uh, uh, plus the 36% uh, cash on return down here of 200,000 hey so if I pay that I'll have I still have 10,242,000 on hand yet uh, I'm actually gonna have a cash flow day income of 981,000 so yeah that's fine for real and close this game. Congratulations, you won the game and achieved your dream goal. Final scores, I have 270 and Nick, 30. Yay! Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Good job playing the game. Not everybody wins a game, but everybody can learn from it. I've lost games many times in my life, and they've been the most valuable learning experiences I've ever had. Using discussion and cooperation, we can learn from and teach each other. Ask yourself, what happened when I played the game? Please share your experience with others. So now you know what it means to be in the freeway to financial freedom. By applying these concepts from the show into your daily life, you can overcome financial obstacles and avoid financial pitfalls while creating new sources of wealth through wise financial decisions so you can be in a state of affluence and prosperity for the rest of your life and future generations. All right, that's it for this episode of the show. And remember, knowledge is your golden ticket to affluence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.